Why the fuck are you pointing the finger at me? I told you I work here. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't trust you. The real Jason left for Italy last year. All that is is a name tag you picked up from the jar over there. I know what you're thinking. Jason's a very common name. There could have been multiple Jasons who worked here, and you'd be correct. Two Jasons have worked here. One left for Italy last year, like I said. And the other one at university a few years back. But that was a year before Vicky started collecting the name tags. Now, miss, sorry, what was your name again? Sasha. Sasha, yes, from room 10. You're staying with your husband, aren't you? May you ask him to come downstairs, and after, can you call the police? Take the call downstairs and then come straight back. Understand? How come you trust her? We've all just met and you're passing the blame onto me. It's more likely you two are working together, letting her leave the room like that. You'd like that, wouldn't you? To push the blame onto me, take the eyes off of you. You can't believe this guy. Come on, Miss Rubin, you've seen me all day doing my job. I, I, I brought you coffee this morning. I brought your vases to your room. You've seen me cleaning. Sasha, can you grab that bat over there for me? And if either one of us tries to make an escape or grab a weapon, give us a good swing to the head. Happy? Do you know what holiday it is today? No. Mm, should I? Yes, you should. Vicky didn't tell you? It's Passover. Now, despite her Jewish roots, she wasn't too committed to her religion. Her husband, on the other hand, was, so she still celebrates Passover for him. You were very familiar with her husband, weren't you? I never knew they were married. After he died, she continued to celebrate Passover as a way to remember him. She would close the hotel for the holiday and invite her family and friends to stay there with her. Well, she never told me that. Maybe she left town this year to celebrate her family instead. She would never leave town after how her husband died. How come you know so much? You know more about Vicky than I do. Your family? Friend? Maybe someone worse. You can try to make me out as a stalker, or something else. But if you must know, I was a husband's partner on the force. So yes, I guess you could say we were like family. So as someone close to her, I found it strange when she didn't call me up for Passover. And not only that, someone I've never heard of is running her hotel. Very strange indeed, Jason. Sasha, can you come over here, please? Yeah, of course. Okay, I think it's time to reveal to our audience who you are. I told you, my name is Jason, I work here. Vicky told me to run the place until she got back. Are you finished lying yet? That's the truth! Sasha, do you see any name tag here saying Jason? No. That's because we are looking at the man named Damien Drakes. I found it strange. Damien Drakes. Not only that, someone I've never heard of. This is all lies. For fuck's sake, how can I prove it? Pull up your sleeves. What? If you're not Damien, and you are innocent, pull up your sleeves. Now, come on, how can I prove it? Okay, suit yourself. 
Damien has a very sadistic way of remembering his kills. He carves the method in Spanish into his arm. So again, pull up your sleeves. Sasha, get your husband. We need help taking him down to the cellar. I was distraught after you killed my partner. My wife couldn't comfort me. So I quit the force, I turned to alcohol. She divorced me and got full custody of my daughter. I contemplated going in there and shooting you in your dang court. But I couldn't leave my daughter without a father. You took everything from me when you killed him. 